beauties! It's pretty profound. Welcome to Metro Musings. Uh, hello to all of the new subscribers. Welcome back all the old subbies. Today, obviously, I want to talk about heat training. I've been getting a lot of questions lately uh, in the comment bar. Uh, am I still heat training? What is my progress with the heat training? How do I heat train? So I'm going to address all of those questions today, give you guys some tips, let you know what I'm doing and you know just try to answer as many questions as possible so you guys have seen that in previous videos i've described a pretty specific heat training regimen that i used where i was using heat at least once a month to blow dry and flat iron my hair i'm not using heat that frequently anymore in that high of a degree mainly because i'm not really interested in wearing my hair straight lately and secondly it's just I'm lazy. I don't really feel like putting that much time in. So I still like to try to do things to stretch my curls and all of that type of stuff. So you might may have seen that in the past month I did get a Brazilian keratin treatment and uh, as you can see here, um, my natural foray hair has been loosened a little bit. So if you're one of those people who are interested in heat training for the purpose of loosening your curl pattern, the Brazilian keratin treatment did a good job for me. Um, this is exactly actually the type of curl that I wanted to get from heat training anyway. What I am doing in terms of use of heat, I'm still applying the same heat training principles. So what I mean by that is, one, when using a blow dryer on my hair, I put the high heat at the roots, which is the new hair, so it's never really been exposed to heat before. I put the high heat at the roots and then I put very little heat or cool air on the ends of my hair. Really from about halfway down, like if this was a section of hair, I would be using heat, high heat here, normal heat on this top half, and then the bottom half here, I would be using either cool air or just no heat at all. Because as you guys know, if you are blow drying your hair, the hardest part to dry is the, is the hair that's up here by your scalp. That takes the longest to dry. So it actually it makes sense to use high heat closer to your scalp and less on the ends anyway. But it's also going to be preserving the health of your hair. You're not going to be putting as much stress and heat on the oldest part of your hair, which is the end. If you're flat ironing, it's the same principle. You're going to use the high heat at the roots where the new hair is. That hair has never really seen heat before. And then as you get to the ends, what I do is I only do one pass. No matter how frizzy the ends might look at the end of that, it's only one pass on the ends of my hair. And then I'll do as many as I want at the top and probably two in the middle. But from, like I said, about here down, it's one pass. And whatever happens from that one pass is what I'm working with. Uh, so keeping that in mind, you're going to absolutely be preserving the health of your hair. You're going to have dry hair when you're using the blow dryer. And you're also, if you're interested in actually changing your curl pattern, you're going to see results from that as well. So if you're doing it once a month, which would be my recommendation, use the heat in that way. Putting um, the majority of the heat closer to the scalp and then hardly any at the ends So just like slowly decreasing the amount of heat as you go down the length of your hair And you're going to definitely see results doing it that way. You're definitely um, Not going to see your hair breaking off. You're not going to see straight ends If you need your ends to be straight wrap them around a curler There's lots of things that you can do to get the ends straight, but you what you're really concerned with is uh, working with the hair that's closest to your scalp. You don't want to ruin the good hair you already have. My hair today, I'm rocking what I'm calling a dry wash and go. So what that means is I had my hair stretched from a twist out, but I'd worn, gone to bed just wearing a bun um, for the past couple of days. So my hair was very stretched, but it didn't have any definition. It was just poofy, nothing really going on with it. So what I used was Hollywood Beauty Olive Cream. Not a terrible product, but I never ever use it. I just had it laying around. But I knew that this product leaves my hair very, very wet. 
because it has water as the first ingredient. So I put this in my hair just in sections and uh, just big chunks and just like really saturated the hair with this stuff. And now that it's dry, this is how it looks. And so you can see it, it kind of um, lets the curls be a little defined and you get that you know after your hair being wet kind of look and it's moisturized. Hopefully I answered all of your questions. I don't think I missed anything. Uh, if you have anything to add to help out other heat trainers or if you have more questions for me, please uh, fill up the comment bar. We can start a discussion. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, you can subscribe right now to find out when I have new videos. Thank you guys again. Bye.